Hi everyone, good morning. So here we are, we just had CAT 24 slot 1 happening and here is our first cut analysis for the cutoffs for CAT 24 slot 1. So as we know, there were some major changes to the structure this year. VARC, surprise, surprise, surprise. There were no para jumbles at all and they increased the VA for the other question types. So we had two odd man out questions, three summary questions and three para completion questions. Some people also call them as fill in the blanks. And in certain cases, the RCs and VAs were not clubbed together, which means within an RC, you could see certain VA questions. Second surprise was in DLR. This time there was a number increase in the number of questions. So there were five sets this time and the total number of questions was 22. Three sets had four questions each and there were two sets of five questions each. Another surprise here was DLR was much easy as compared to the last year. In fact, a lot of people are comparing DLR to SIMCAT 20 DLR. Coming to quant, quant was also simpler compared to last year. And in our opinion, it was very similar to CAT 21 and CAT 22 in terms of sort of difficulty level. So based on these feedback, for example, VRC because people faced a surprise, there was a reduction in the number of TTAC questions. We feel that the cutoff might slightly drop as compared to CAT 23 slot 1 of VRC. Remember, we are talking about the raw scores here. In terms of DLR, because it was easy, people are going to attempt more questions. And hence, our cutoffs estimates are significantly higher as compared to CAT 23 DLR cutoffs. And when it comes to QS section, again, it was simpler compared to last year. Arithmetic was back as a major topic. Again, people will be able to attempt more questions in QAR, QA. Hence, our overall estimate for the scores required to reach a particular percentile as compared to last year is going to be up. Now, a lot of people may not like our analysis because our cutoff predictions is going to be on the higher side. But we have looked at the data for all our SIMCATs. We have looked at the data for CAT 21, 22 and 23 to come up with these estimates. So we feel for CAT 24 to fetch a 99.9 .9 percentile, you will need a score of somewhere close to 120 or 124. Within VA, a score of 48 looks good. This is roughly three marks. Uh, fewer than what was there in CAT 23. DLR, a score of close to 49 is going to be required and QA, a score of 48. If you look at it, scoring about 50 in each section is going to get you to that 99.9 .9 percentile mark in each of the individual sections. When it comes to the 99 percentile mark, we feel a score of 36 in VARC, 40 in DLR and 35 in QA is going to get you to the 99 percentile mark. A score of 95 to 98 is going to be required to reach that 99 percentile marks. When it comes to clearing the cutoffs, we generally place the cutoff at the 85 percentile mark. Five net questions correct in VARC is going to get you 15 marks, which will take you to the 85 percentile mark. A score of 21 is going to be required to hit the cutoff in DLR. Remember, I said you are going to be able to attempt more questions. People have attempted. Uh, people who could attempt, let's say, only two sets in an SIMCAT have attempted three, three and a half sets this year. When it comes to QA, a score of 13 is going to be required, right? And overall, I would say if you're going to look at that 90 percentile mark, a score of 50, a half century in the overall score is going to take you to that 90 percentile mark. Please remember, these are our initial estimates, point one, point two, we're talking about the raw scores. So remember, slot one students typically are getting a surprise. You know, they are the first batch of students who got to know, oh, there are higher sites in, uh, higher number of questions in DLR. They are the first one to know that there were no para jumbles in VRC. So because they get the surprise factor, their scores tend to get upscaled when it comes to the normalization process. Hence, the performance in terms of the overall raw score for slot one typically is a little lower as compared to slot two and slot three assuming a very similar difficulty level, right? So I will not be surprised if the scores for each of the sections get scaled up for slot one. And I repeat a score of about 95 to 98 will get you that 99 percentile mark. A score of about 50 will take you to the 90 percentile mark. And a score of about 46 will get you to that 85 percentile mark. I, please remember these are our initial estimates. 
we are going to re uh, revise them maybe at the end of the day today and definitely once the response sheet is out where we'll have much more data from students to come up with a more refined and accurate version of our estimates for students who are going to take slot 3 slot 2 is already done slot 3 i would say uh, if you're looking at the strategy you'll have to maybe have far more attempts in the dlr and the qa section as compared to what you let's say do in a typical sim cat or what you did maybe if you have taken cat 23 right so i wish you best for your slot 3 attempt and please be with us throughout the day at 10 30 we do an overall analysis live on youtube so some of you are still eager to know the cutoffs can join us there in the comment section people have taken slot one please mention your number of attempts please mention which sim cat did you find very similar to uh, the cat 24 paper and we'll be happy to uh, respond back to your comments so wish you the best